Hi friends of the Suyanto HP channel. Greetings, see you again, in this video entitled MotoGP is so excited. Suzuki team withdrawal from MotoGP. Some time ago it was rumored that Suzuki would not be with MotoGP again after the 2022 season ended. The news about Suzuki's withdrawal from MotoGP certainly surprised many parties. The reason is, this news is very sudden and is considered detrimental to Suzuki itself. How come? The news of Suzuki's resignation coincided with the conditions of its competitive drivers. This has led some to say that Suzuki's departure has opened up opportunities for other teams to replace him. As MotoGP promoters Dorna Sports responded to this, and they stated that Suzuki could not make a unilateral decision because they had signed a contract until 2026. But Dorna also said there are many interested teams, both factory teams and independent teams who want to take part in the MotoGP competition. One team that is predicted to replace him is the Leopard Racing Racing Team, this team is a team that is involved in Moto3 with its two main drivers, Dennis Faja and Tatsuki Suzuki. Leopard Racing, which has won the Moto3 title with Danny Kent 2015, Joan Mir 2017, and Lorenzo Dalla Porta 2019. As quoted from Motorsport, Leopard Racing is serious about playing in MotoGP. This team was also defended by Joan Mir during the 2017 season before moving to the Suzuki factory team. This news made Leopard Racing's tech director, Christian Lundberg comment in the media. We will see how the situation develops, there are various contracts still running and I don't think Suzuki can just leave because they have a contract signed until 2026, said Christian Lundberg. We'll see later, but if there is an empty seat and God wills they, Dorna, will give it to us, of course we will be very happy," he added. The whole paddock knows that we are really interested and we will try to take that step, but there is still a long way to go before that can happen. If the Leopard Racing Team gets Dorna's blessing, it is predicted that they will join Aprilia. This is because Aprilia only has two riders in MotoGP 2022. This could be an alternative. If the Leopard Racing Team joins in MotoGP next season if Suzuki really leaves. Seeing this situation, the CEO of Ducati Motor, Claudio Domenicali, involved his views. As a fellow industry player in the same field, Domenicali certainly understands the situation that is currently happening. If the main reason is the global economic situation, then Domenicali does not blame Suzuki's decision. The Ducati boss also admitted that currently the global economic situation related to energy fuels was not doing well. The conditions of war became one of the main causes. Therefore, Domenicali said that Suzuki had considered this decision carefully. It could be that Suzuki has other options outside of MotoGP to boost their brand. Currently, the world situation is quite complex. We are faced with turbulence, said Domenicali as quoted by Champion.net from Paddock GP. In the short term, there is a war situation and these conditions have a significant economic impact. Energy costs are under pressure. For Suzuki, investing in MotoGP is not a priority. Suzuki's setback in the MotoGP event made many people regret the decision. Especially the fans of the Japanese manufacturer who will not be willing if next season there will be no more GSXRR motorcycles on the MotoGP track. However, Domenicali has another opinion about this unreasonable decision. Seen from the outside, it seems incomprehensible. But that's not the case with people who are in my place and face problems as a manager, not as a fan. Suzuki's exit in the World Race event did not only happen this time. The Japanese manufacturer has never faced a situation like this. Domenicali said that not every automotive brand would make a major investment in the world of racing. Maybe Suzuki is also one of them.
Unlike Ducati which makes the world of racing as the core of their business, Suzuki isn't new to this type of approach. They've been out, they've come back. For some teams, Ducati being one of them, racing is the essence of their business. Now Suzuki is out again. The same thing happened in Formula 1 with other teams going in and out. While Ferrari was always there. So far there has been no official clarification from Suzuki regarding the issue of their withdrawal from MotoGP. Hopefully whatever the steps and decisions of the Suzuki team in MotoGP are for the best. See you again in the next content or video. Regards, Suyanto HP.